20 minutes, t- oh boy, 20 minutes before 12 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this, uh... Have a drink of coffee, Larry. Tuesday morning. Tea. <laughs> or tea, whatever. We, we are ready to have fun with Joe and fun with Robin as well, as a matter of fact. Good morning, yeah, good Joe. Good morning, peoples. How be you over there? As be fine, as be you. <laughs> Has to be half a bubble off. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I have questions Thursday, today. Thirsty Tuesday doesn't sound right. The the game today is, are you smarter than a college student? Heck no. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Me either. Well, Me it depends either. what course I'm taking. Mm, well, it's kind of a, it's, you know, a little bit from each course, I think, today. There's a certain course, yes, I'm, I'm smarter. If not, forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Yeah. Uh, and we've got Sometimes some Sometimes age has wisdom. Yeah, but this isn't about wisdom. This is about knowledge. Forget about it. <laughs> yes, I believe wisdom, uh, yeah. it kind of sticks, but knowledge slips away, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yes. That's a, yeah. <laughs> I call it horse sense. But wisdom, wisdom does stick with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Horse yeah. sense, common sense. You kind of look, uh, if I went to college, which I did a few years ago, I was the oldest one there. Or the oldest. I was the oldest. <laughs> but, you know, I had like common sense. What are you kidding me? You know? Or as the kids say, Really? Really? Yeah, yeah right, right, right. That kind of thing. Well yeah. well, yeah, but no, it doesn't work that way. That's a good thing about the brain. You, you do keep your common sense, your common wisdom. Sense, horse sense. Knowledge yeah. goes away. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. How boy, tell you? me I had a re- Oh, boy. <laughs> What's the capital? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the president? president yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. If, if we had to take our, uh, citizens, uh, a citizenship test. I, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. We'd have to go back to school for it. <laughs> 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 well, with the literacy committee there, uh, there are people that go up. For citizenship, uh-huh, they uh-huh. learn to read and everything. Then they learn and they become citizens. And then we've got a lot of a lot of success stories. I've just got an email from Karen Hill uh, from the uh, Literacy Committee. The good news, though, about the Constitution, not to get too philosophical during our fun with Joe segment, but uh-huh. the good news is that the the founding fathers were very common sense guys, In, and, and our yeah. Constitution is really. A bunch of common sense. Yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. let people live free. Let people enjoy the freedom to, to succeed or fail. Well, because where P- do they come pretty from? Pretty simple. Where do they come from? London, where they had all the... Let them, let them protect themselves. Let them, let them grow farms. Let them... Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, total opposite from where they came from. <laughs> Right, right. Basically, yeah. if you think about it, yeah. common sense. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we, we are going to have some fun. Can I just slip in real quickly, uh, uh, just a, uh, a nudge... A nudge we, for who? Because we have 50 sandwiches we're giving away. Yes. From Chick fil A here in the Paddock at Mall. The Paddock Mall. Yes, yes. Teamed up. We're just simply asking you to figure out who you would like to give them to. Simple as that. Yeah, no, can't, there's no strings attached. No strings. Nothing. 50 sandwiches to an organization that helps others. And you just get us, a, just send us a letter. You can send it any way you want. You can bring it in, mail it in, email it in. It doesn't matter. That's it. Right. Have a pigeon and drop it off. This, we're doing this once a month till December. Yeah. So. And we're not throwing any of them away. So if you don't win no. this year, uh, this month, you'll win next month. You could. Exactly. You could. You have possibility. June, yeah, July. Yeah. 50 cents. One, you know, you're going to nominate somebody and somebody. Can you imagine, though? Just imagine you work at the the blank shelter. I'm not going to name anybody because I don't want to show favoritism. You work at the blank shelter, and all of a sudden, here comes somebody with 50 sandwiches. From Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Right? Yeah, sure, sure. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That it'll would be, be, it'll be It'll be edible. Very edible. edible. Yeah, that'd now, be if fun. you work speaking of Chick Fil A, but, but just one oh, more thing: okay, if, more if thing. you work at the place people for the ethical treatment of chickens, you might not want to give them no. a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> or places that sell. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. That was too too. You know, I saw I saw a, a, a cartoon the other day. Can I share it with you? And you may have seen sure. it. Uh, the, the, it was a, a woman looking at her chicken, and she was standing she next. Was. Yeah, and she was okay. standing with another woman, okay. and she said, "Yeah, the chicken uh, provides us with eggs, and the the day that the chicken stops providing us with eggs is the day we eat the chicken." So ah. then, so then the next panel in the cartoon shows the chicken at the grocery store getting a dozen eggs, ah. and, the, and, the, and, the, and then the caption is, "This explains why the chicken crossed the road." <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that's funny. all right, very good. All right, let me elaborate on that then. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I sent I sent away for a chicken, and I sent away for an egg. Soon I'll find out which came first. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, let's see what we have here from Old El Paso. Win this deluxe chopper set and storage. Perfect for food preparation with Old El Paso. A snap on Taco Tuesday. I know. I, How do you snap on a taco? They, I just love right. the way they write. I don't know, but there snap it is. Snap on and a there's taco. There's even a cutting board in there. It says $25. Uh, eh, close. 
I'll yeah. give $15.99. Oh, please tell <laughs> plus, me that's, that's plus not in a, a in a life south bag. Wait a minute, you got something in your pocket. What's what? The... No, not me. <laughs> okay, which country is Tuesday considered to be a lucky day of the week? Greece, Spain, or Wales? I would say Wales. Why? Because it's Tuesday. Wales is Tuesday? You never heard that before? No, but no. you're right. If this is Wales, it must be Tuesday. Uh, what do I have in my pocket? Oh, okay. <laughs> what do I have? <laughs> if this is Tuesday, I'm just keep moving. I'm just I moving right along. <laughs> From the great American cookie company right here at the Paddock Mall, we have a $30 gift card. So go to see John at the great American cookie company and get one of those delicious cookies. All right. All right $30 there, for cookies. Well, something else in my pocket. Uh, what else is in your pocket? Uh, we'll get a free New grilled chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A. All right, so one Animal. sandwich, one sandwich, one free sandwich, a big thirty dollar cookie, and all this stuff, and all that stuff. All right, all that stuff right here. How did they do that, Sir Larry? <laughs> so the entire prize goes to one winner, and the winner is the person who bets on the winner in here, oh, in these yep. studios, WOCA's studios. Uh, we need somebody to bet on Joe and somebody to bet on Robin. The game today is: Are you smarter than a college student? Uh, uh. And if you've won this prize on Fun with Joe in the last thirty days, you are ineligible to play today. There's that word. <laughs> so what's the phone number? Six two two nine six two two. That is the WOCA climate control source outline. Six two two WOCA. We'll take your call during the break. We'll be right back. Hey, Liz. Yes, George. Guess what I have. <laughs> Can it be the free truck used from Devin Self Storage on 200 across from Hobby Lobby? You lie. Yes. Now, don't forget to bring it back when you're done to Devin Self Storage. Yes, Alice. I'll even remember to call them at 873-0777 to make sure they'll remember me. George, I'm sure they'll remember you. Thanks, Alice. Oh, George. Like it or not, springtime is just around the corner, and so is spring cleaning and those winter projects you've been putting off. But don't worry, Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. But this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101. 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. Can't see you. All right, it's uh, 12 minutes before 12 o'clock. Oh, no. We've got our two players. <laughs> well, give them thumbs up. These look and, uh, at me. So did the, did the cute girl hey, respond to you? Go. Did the cute girl <laughs> respond to you? I didn't wave to her. Oh, you didn't wave to her. No, okay. I gave thumbs up to these All guys. Right. Or did Terry is betting on Robin. Michael is betting on Joe. And uh, Robin has something questions. to say. What do you and, have to say? And, and when you pick up your prize, you must show a photo ID. So your photo has to match the person that comes in to pick up the prize. It must, it must be you to pick up the, the prize. All right, here are the questions. Larry didn't make a comment that time. That worries me. Are you smarter <laughs> than a college student? Okay. Sure. After, after Russia. After Russia. What is the largest country in the world in area? Is it China? No. Australia. No, that was my guess, actually. Wow. After Russia, All right? What was, country in area now, not in population? I know that. That's I, that's what I said. That's why I said. Come on, do you know? Uh, Somebody there? I, I go with I go with Iceland. Uh, Iceland? No, no, the not whole thing. Uh, the, our, our Antarctica, whatever. Come on, do you know? Brazil, Canada. Canada is right. Oh, good job. Yes, oh, I forgot right. about our neighbors. All right, who's the point for? Mr. Martone. Woo! Thank you. Thank Joe you, and sir. Michael are on Thank the you. board. And all the Canucks hey. say, hey. <laughs> We're number two. All right, here's the next question. Are you smarter than a college student? The 1982 <laughs> album Thriller yes. eventually led to seven different songs being released as singles, including PYT and the title track. Mm -hmm. uh, name the artist who made the album. Oh, Michael Jackson. Yeah. 
Oh, for Pete's sake. I know. I was oh, waiting. Oh, he went around the back. He went around the corner for that one. I was waiting for him to ask uh, what his PYT was. I like that poster. For. Look at that poster that he's got over there. All right. He's ignoring me, but he's a poster. <laughs> Uh, the recently deceased Steve Jobs was most recently the CEO Apple. of what company? Apple is Good right. Job. I wasn't going. I go jumping on that one. It's going to be another Michael Jackson question. <laughs> what is the only U.S. state to start with the letter U? Utah. Utah is right. <laughs> Not Oklahoma. Not Oklahoma. No. <laughs> uh, what invention credited to Egyptians is so named because it was originally made out of papyrus? So the, the paper? Paper is right. Paper Dang, is right. you. <laughs> uh, I was just one millisecond close, faster than Yes, you than were. Joe. Where? You That's that. why I said, dang you. Where are you <laughs> if you're getting a cup of coffee and your size choices are venti, grande, and tall? Starbucks. Starbucks is right. Oh, good job. Yes, well, I have a grande. Oh, look at that. Look at Chick-fil-A. In what country is the automaker BMW located? Uh, United States? No. Oh, what? Germany. Germany is right, yes. They got a BMW, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's in uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina, at the BMW. Uh, what is the largest U.S. state in area? Texas. No. No? No. He said no. No. So I Alaska? Guess, Alaska is right. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's right. <laughs> See, I'm thinking continental. Though. Yeah, we're forgetting like about those states there. <laughs> like the breakfast. You know? yeah, well, Alaska and Hawaii. Putin wants it back anyway. Yeah, he does. He's not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the last name of the reality television celebrities, Chris, Kim, Chloe, and Courtney? Kardashian. Kardashian, that's right. Joe was right there, too. I was. My hand was <laughs> over it, yeah. Uh, which country is made up of 31 states, including Chihuahua and Tabasco? Sauce. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spain. <laughs> no, not Spain. Brazil? No. Huh. Which country is made up of 31 states, including Chihuahua and Tabasco? Well, go, go ahead. Go ahead. You got it first. Mexico. Mexico is That right. was mine. But, <laughs> you, you rang, but no, no. But you rang ahead of me, so you, you rang got ahead, it. Yeah. Rang ahead, right. I, was, I was being fair. Your Joe's bell rang before smart. mine did. Which U.S. <laughs> president, which U.S. president is the only one to uh -huh. be elected uh, to more than two terms? Uh, Madison. No. The Coolidge? No. The only president ever to be elected it's, one. It's before Eisenhower, so it has to be... Come on, do you know? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. before Eisenhower, right? <laughs> that's right. Who's the point for? Joe. Woo, Thank you. Good job. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yay! Uh, the novel by Margaret Mitchell details life in Georgia for Scarlett oh, O'Hara. Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind is right. Dang. <laughs> no, Joe was right on that one. <laughs> I know. It's like I'm going to have to keep my hand over the bell. Huh. What 19th century writer and poet is famous for his dark works like The Raven, The Telltale Heart, Edgar Allan Poe, and Edgar Allan Poe? Good right? job. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what lead? What man was the leader of Italy during World War II? Mussolini. Mussolini. Thank you. My bell must have broke. <laughs> I think the questions for the fifth graders are harder than these. <laughs> You know, I think you're right. I think I they think are. You're right. Who's that one? Don't ask oh, me. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Get it? Don't ask me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What female singer is the youngest woman to have ten number one hits? Oh. One of her hits. Olivia Newton-John. One of her hit songs is "Umbrella." Oh, that helps. Oh yeah, that really yeah that really <laughs> that, "Umbrella." Reba McIntyre. No, it does start with an R though. Well, it starts with an R. Oh, gee. Uh, starts with an R, which would be I don't know. See, this is really a college kid kind of right. question. Starts with, a kid, starts with an a R. A kid. It's a singer. Call in, Terry. Come Call on, do you Michael. know? Is it Rihanna? It is Rihanna. Oh, good, good job! You. I wow. forgot about her. And I her. Who's that point for? Joe Who's the author of The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> don't know. Oh, Don't gee. Know that one. What is his name? He's the author. So that's with a B? His last name does, yes. Yeah. That's, oh, I want to say gosh. Banks, but it's not Banks. John Bur Ritter played him in the movie. Burns or Burl? Uh, Neither one. No. Oh, I can't remember his so that's name. That's with a B, but I. Come on, do you know? Frank Baum. That's. Yes, it. yes. Very good. Who's I the point for? That? Give it to uh, the Wizard of W O C A. Woo, that's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. B A U M yeah. is how you spell it. Oh, B A U M, okay. I knew it was a B. I knew it was a B. I knew that, but that's as far as I got. <laughs> uh, 
Um, You're smiling. Who are the two composers and lyricists who wrote The Sound of Music? Rogers and Hammerstein. Yes, Rogers and Hammerstein. Rogers and Hammerstein. Very Hammerstein. good. Uh, what does the A stand for in DNA? Anatomy? No. What does the oh. A stand for in DNA? Analog. <laughs> Arterial? Arterial? Uh, no. Good morning, you know? My guess is acid. It is acid. Yes. Really? Yeah. Wow. Don't ask me what the D or the N stand for. Okay. Though. What do the D or the N stand for? <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I think Pete? The D and the N stand for dinonucleic or something like that. Oh, wow. wow. See? The point is for Joe. Good hey, job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, only one U.S. state borders exactly one other U.S. state. Name that state. Alaska. <laughs> no. It's not Alaska? That doesn't border any other state. Well, oh, I see what you're saying. Only one U.S. state borders exactly one other U.S. state. Only. Yeah. Is it Maine? It is Maine, yes. Really? It is Maine, yes. Huh. Huh. How many senators are there in the U.S. Senate? Go ahead. Say 12. Okay, there's 50. No. No. 12's not it either? No. <laughs> I don't know how many senators there are. It should be 100, right? 100 is right. That's double, it. double. Two, yeah, two double. per state. That's right. Double, yeah. I'm thinking the Supreme Court. Duh. Uh, <laughs> in French, in French, which is the only number between 1 and 1,000 that is spelled the same way in English? Uh, oh wow! Let's see. Uh, in French, what is the only number between one and one thousand that's spelled the same way as it is in English? Is it one thousand? No. Uno. Uno dos. <laughs> that's Spanish. That's Spanish. Yeah. Uh, I know. I can't even think of the first. The first. <laughs> give me the first un, French one. Un, <laughs> un deux trois. 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 Un Right. What, which one? Which I don't one? know. All right. It's uh, C, six. Six. It's spelled S I X. Oh, oh okay. Spelled there the same. You in both go. languages. That's right. Okay. I did say spell, right? That's you yeah, did you did. Spell. Okay. You did say spell. All right. Before being picked up by the Miami Heat as a oh, free gee. agent, oh, gee. LeBron James yes. played for what NBA team? A Phoenix? No. I'm just this throwing basketball it out there. you're talking about? Yeah. We'll go with. The He's helping you. He's oh, wait, I don't read it. <laughs> read it. <laughs> the what? <laughs> oh, the Le uh, Cleveland Clav Cavaliers? Yeah. Cle Thank you. Wow. <laughs> That's my there lifeline out there. There we go, Michael and Joe. I'm glad he stopped by to say hi. Right. <laughs> Me too. He knew that. Angry Birds. That Angry Birds is a popular game produced by Rovio Mobile. Uh huh. In what country is Rovio based? Is it England? No. Uh, we'll go with. Uh, Spain. College kids know this one. Oh, yeah. The United States? No. That'd be too easy. Angry? Japan? No. China? No. Is it Asia? No. But to hear that, we'll go with England then. Angry Birds. No. Canada? No, no. Mexico? It starts with an F. Okay. Franklin, Germany. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Finland. Fin Finland is right. Wow. Good job. You got it before I said it. Good, Good job. job. Oh, that'd be an F. Yeah. Good how many, job. How, how many countries start with an F? <sighs> France? Uh, yes. That's it. That? <laughs> uh, France or Finland? <laughs> France. Finland. I was just thinking. Philippines? That's BH. Nice <laughs> try. Nice try. Uh, hey, all right, all right. Robin, he's S picking on me. Syntax. I know, he's picking on you. All right, syntax, morphology, semantics, and phonology are all sub areas in what area of social science? Your brain. My goodness. What area of social uh, uh, philosophy? That does a, that is a Physics? college kind of a question. No. Not philosophy? No. Oh, Jesus. Syntax, morphology, semantics, and phonology are all sub-areas of what's social science? Oh, Sociology. That... No, brain no. activity. No, good, no, good morning. Good. You know? My guess is psychology. No, I not psychology. That one, yeah. no. no. It's linguistics. Linguistics. Oh. What did he yeah, say? It makes sense when you know it, right? It makes yeah, sense sure. It. Yeah. <laughs> I can ship it that way. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, we're almost out of time. What, who's oh. the winner? Oh, Terry wins. What? You only win by two, Terry. 12 to 10. <laughs> so, Terry, come pick up your prize, please. Bring well, your ID. Well, thanks for playing as always. We've got Fox News coming up, then Glenn Beck right after that. That's right, exactly right. right. And don't, thanks, for, guys, don't for forget, me. we are soliciting you to nominate somebody to get 50 chicken sandwiches before the end of the month. And the end of the month is what, Tuesday? 
Yeah. Yes. Oh. Tuesdays in the month, so get us a letter, and we want to make sure we have somebody out there who gets 50 chicken sandwiches from WOCA and Chick-fil-A in the Paddock Mall. Right. This is WOCA Ocala. Hang in there. Here comes Glenn Beck. Well, actually, first, here comes Fox News. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. A Michigan affirmative action ban is upheld by the Supreme Court. This opinion by Justice Anthony Kennedy, he says, is not about the constitutionality or merits of affirmative action. Instead, the central issue is about the right of Michigan voters. Voters in 2006 approved an amendment to the state constitution, barring...